Hello dear students, in this session we will uh, calculate uh, tension and uh, acceleration if blocks are connected by strings, we will discuss different situations. The simplest of all, say there is a block of mass m, okay, this is a ceiling, this is a fixed ceiling, massless uh, string is massless and it is inextensible unless mentioned mass is hung and this mass is uh, stationary, stationary. Here uh, tension is acting upwards, tension is acting upwards, m g is acting downwards, m g is responsible for tension. So, where the gravitational force is pulling the mass downwards. So, a tension is being developed in the string, tension is electrostatic in nature. So, here tension, here the tension equation is very simple, d is equal to m g over because uh, since the body is at rest, upward force equal downward force. Okay. Next situation, say let me increase the number of blocks, here there is a string, say this mass is m 1, another mass m 2 is connected, m 2. Now, here there is a tension, that tension is T 1, here the tension is T 2. Now, if I write a free body diagram for m 1, on m 1, which force is acting on m 1? One force acting is uh, T 1, which is upwards, T 1 is acting upwards. The other force acting on m 1 is T 2, T 2 is acting downwards. If I write free body diagram for m 2, on m 2, weight of m 2 is acting uh, downwards, m 2 g is downwards. Okay. T 2 is acting upwards, here you should observe what this string is doing. This string is pulling m 2 up and this string is pulling m 1 down. So, with respect to m 1, T 2 is downwards, with respect to m 2, T 2 is upwards. Now, what is T 2 is equal to? T 2 is equal to m 2 g, T 2 is equal to m 2 g here. Now, uh, on m 1, T 2 is acting downwards, what is T 2? T 2 is m 2 g okay. and m 1 g, weight of m 1 is also acting downwards, correct now, weight of m 1 is also acting downwards. So, m 1 g, I missed a point there and T 2 is also acting. So, and this m 1 is in uh, equilibrium. So, I can write T 1 is equal to T 2 plus m 1 g, uh, what is T 2? T 2 is m 2 g. So, T 1 is equal to m 1 g plus m 2 g or T 1 is equal to m 1 plus m 2 into g, m 1 plus m 2 into g, T 1 is equal to m 1 plus m 2 into g. what happened? Uh, uh, see, what T 1, what this string has to do? This uh, string has to withstand the weight of m 1 and m 2, that is why in T 1, m 1, m 2 both will come, okay, m 1 plus m 2 whole multiplied by g. Okay. Now, this string has to withstand the weight of m 2 only, say therefore, m 2 g will come. So, maybe we can generalize this situation, say uh, there is a string and uh, lot of blocks are connected like this, say this is m 1, this is m 2, m 3 is here, m 4 is here, m 5 is here, okay. this is m 1, m 2, m 3, m 4, m 5. Now, these are all different strings, say here the tension is T 1, this tension let it be T 2, say this is T 3, this is T 4, this is T 5, see tension in this string is less because it has to hold, it has to withstand the weight of only M 5, but T 1, T 1 has to withstand the weight of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. So, directly we can write the equation for tensions like 
what is T phi? T phi equal to m phi g, m phi g, what is T 4? T 4 is equal to m 4 plus m phi into g, m 4 plus m 5 into g, what is T 3? T 3 is equal to m 3 plus m 4 plus m phi into g, m 3 plus m 4 plus m 5 into g, what is T 2? T 2 is equal to m 2 plus m 3 plus m 4 plus m 5, m 2 plus m 3 plus m 4 plus m 5 into g. See, we are not using uh, free body diagrams and all, directly we are writing the equation for tension. Similarly, T 1 will be equal to m 1 plus m 2 plus m 3 plus m 4 plus m 5 into g. Now, uh, let us uh, consider one more situation. Uh, if the two blocks are connected by a string and uh, they uh, some horizontal force is applied on the system, then uh, how to write the equation for tension and acceleration. Here uh, in all the situations here the uh, system was at rest, acceleration was not there. But if uh, say there is a horizontal surface like this and there are two blocks okay, m 1 and m 2, m 2 and m 1 and m 2 are connected by a string. If you apply some horizontal force, because of this horizontal force, the system will move with some acceleration a. In this case, in the string there will be some tension okay, and uh, there will be some acceleration for the system. How to calculate that tension and acceleration? We will see. First, let us write free body diagram for both M1 and M2. Free body diagram for M1. On M1, only one force is acting, that is tension. That tension itself uh, is responsible for acceleration. See, on M1, weight is acting down, weight is acting downwards, corresponding normal reaction is acting upwards, but the mass is going along the horizontal. No, we will write only horizontal forces, so that N and Mg gets cancelled. Okay. So, T it is responsible for acceleration of mass, only force which is acting is T. So, T is equal to MA. Now, we will write the uh, free body diagram for M2. M2. On M2, F is acting in this direction, tension is acting in the opposite direction because when M2 is moving forward, this string is trying to pull the M2 because uh, 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 this M1 is uh, uh, not allowing uh, mass M2 to move easily. So, with respect to M2, tension is acting in the opposite direction in towards left, but this string itself is pulling M1 towards right. So, with respect to M1, what string is doing to M1? String is pulling M1 in this direction. But at the same time, this string is giving difficulty for the movement of M2. Okay. So, with respect to M2, T is in the opposite direction or you can remember like the direction of tension is away from the body. So, I am speaking about this mass away from the body, okay. but effectively acceleration in this direction. No? So, therefore, F should be bigger. So, when I write the equation for net force, I should write F minus T is equal to m 2 into a. So, here I should have written m 1, t is equal to m 1 a, m 2 into a or f is equal to, f is equal to t plus m 2 a or what is t? t is equal to m 1 a, m 1 a plus m 2 a or I can write f is equal to, f is equal to m 1 plus m 2 into a. Hence, I got the equation for acceleration acceleration of the system is equal to m 1, uh, acceleration is equal to f divided by m 1 plus m 2. Now, similarly, we can generalize this equation for different uh, situations. Say for example, say there are many blocks connected. Okay. Say there is uh, block m 1, there is block m 2, block m 3 okay. and this is say block m 4, m 1, 
m2 m3 m4 some horizontal force is being applied and is a smooth surface therefore this system moves with an acceleration a in this direction because force is being applied in this towards right here there is a tension let that tension be t1 say this is uh, t2 and this is t3 see this t3 should be more because this t3 this string has to pull 1 2 3 masses correct now so what happens t1 uh, for the acceleration of mass m1 only t1 is responsible so t1 is equal to m1 a t2 t2 will be equal to m1 plus m2 into a m1 plus m2 into a okay similarly t3 is equal to t3 is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 into a m1 plus m2 plus m3 into a t4 is equal to uh, t4 is not there. So, f is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 into a or acceleration is equal to net force divided by total mass acceleration of the system equal to f divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4. This is how you can write the equations for uh, tension easily without uh, solving for without writing free body diagrams. Thank you.